On this week's What's Growing with Tom, 9 in 10 Chief Meteorologist Tom O'Hare takes us to Coveview Scenic Farm Market in Petoskey with Justin Morgan of Morgan's Composting. This week we explore flower beds and how to grow the most beautiful and colorful flowers. Let's take a look. Well, hello, Northern Michigan. It is a pretty nice day here in Petoskey, Coveview Scenic Farm Market. And uh, Justin here from Justin Morgan, Morgan Composting, you know, Justin, it's a beautiful day. Flowers looking fantastic. Now, we're going to plant these in our actual planters, right? Yeah. How do we make them look better? So flowers, if you're doing um, any type of flowering, as you can see here, we recommend the flower to 201. Why is right. that? That has extra phosphorus in there because everybody wants the biggest bloom, right? right? To make our neighbors jealous, of course. Right. And then we want the most vibrant bloom. So what we do is mineral that we put into the 301 helps with taste, but in the flower to 201, it helps with that big, vibrant flower, that really nice flower that pops, mm -hmm. and that's what we're looking for. So this is a ready-to-use potting soil. All you got to do is fill your container, and you do your transplant, plant it in there, and then water it in well, like we showed you with the 301. Right now, the difference, you can't just use 301 for flowers, right? They'd be bad. That's right. That's a vegetable That's a vegetable potting soil, where well, this is a flower potting soil. All right. And a couple key things, like I said, water well, I mean, very well. Yes. Transplant them, water again, yep. make sure it's good to go. Yep. Now, it's not just for our, our plants here in the flower. It's good for hanging baskets too, right? Yeah, just getting through Mother's Day. You know, a lot of mothers got uh, beautiful looking hanging baskets. When it leaves like Covio Scenic Farm here, he does a beautiful job with them. They're grown in our soil, so they have a really nice start. But how do we maintain them afterwards? Yeah, right? I know. It's been a couple of weeks since Mother's Day. Yeah. And like, I, I bet some ears might be looking a little rough right now. Yeah. It, how do we make them look better? A lot of times they may dry out. Or yeah. um, one thing that we obviously recommend too is our uh, Bloom Blaster. Okay. It's, it's a liquid and it has uh, kelp in there and it has um, fulvic acid in here, so liquid carbons and then nutrient. And you can see that middle number is a phosphorus. Right. And that's really that what we're looking for with the bigger blooms and then also minerals in here. And uh, it's really important because there's only so much nutrient in here to keep producing that we want to continue to feed them. And it's faster acting, right? Yeah, yep, it's really fast acting. You can do this every seven to 14 days. Okay. And it has a nice top on here where we could go ahead and feed it. And we don't spray deep into it. We let it Pre spray, right? Yeah, I'll show you. All here, right, you ahead. stand right there and I'm I'll way spray over you. Here. Oh, okay, all right. So, all you want to do is just a crisscross motion on the top, you know, three to five seconds across, and that's it. You don't want to use this for a water. That's all it takes, seven to 14 days. So, you do not want to use this as a water where you're just dousing it because right. there's nutrient in here, but then just give it some love, give it some food, and she'll keep popping and producing for the whole summer. And that's what we want to see all summer long. Keep on doing it every couple weeks. Love it. Of course, we're looking at the weather too. We're also talking about planting in the ground. Last week, we're talking about raised beds. Those you're putting in the ground, we're talking about how to make them better throughout the summer. Stay tuned for the details. 